Simon is someone who is fiercely and unapologetically himself. He is one of the funniest people I know. Incredibly talented, though I don't think he gives himself nearly enough credit for it. On top of all that, he shows up for the community and other communities. He is outspoken and an activist and always engaged and always engaging. And I feel really lucky to have him in my life. I would probably have to say my friend, Angela. She never lets anyone fuck her over about her identity. She is hilarious. She works so hard hard, harder than most people that I know and is just going to continue to progress and progress in her career and in her life. She cares about her family and her friends and will defend them fearlessly, which is all you can really ask for. Stephanie spends all of her time thinking about others and helping other people through their struggles, but I hope that this pride, Stephanie, that you take some time to be proud of yourself because you're just as much a part of the queer community as anyone else. No matter what they're faced with, they continue to be extremely eloquent, amazingly talented, creating the most beautiful pieces of artwork, and they continue to be beautiful on the inside and so beautiful on the outside. They inspire me every day. Degenerate Fox's own Jack Wakely is firstly a wonderful friend. He feels things very deeply, um, but is never defeated. Um, Jack might deny that, but I'm right, he's wrong. He is someone who is very principled, but is also very compassionate, and I am lucky to call him a friend. She is so strong. She has been through so much in the last few years, and now she's an amazing mother to twins, and she's still giving everything her whole heart and soul. She's so loving. Simon makes me proud. Angela makes me proud. Stephanie makes me proud. Leah makes me proud. Jack makes me proud. Martha makes me proud. 